today. How are you looking for the Brentford game? Any players back? Any positions you're worse or better? And most importantly, are your players okay? The, the ones that got it. The players are okay. It's the most important, and they're of course not back because they cannot be back. It's uh, they have to be out for ten days. Uh, before they can be released so this is uh, the problem this is the concern we have because and then they are out and they they had covid and then yeah uh, we don't really know if they can play or not if it's it's if it's uh, if it's risky to play them or not but first of all they're 10 days out it's not like having like little injuries or like a little concern and you're out for one match they they are out for 10 days and in our schedule, this can be more matches. So nobody's back from there, except for Jorginho, because he had a negative test. So it was a wrong positive, obviously. And uh, he is back in training. Um, Andreas Christensen is very doubtful for injury. And the uh, same for Trevor Chaloba. Um, you were pretty upset before the Wolves game when you spoke to the cameras and you reiter reiterated your thoughts afterwards. Given that the Premier League have decided not to have a fire break, how are you feeling? What's your reaction to that news? Not big. I thought I thought that this will uh, uh, um, this was coming. Um, I was there was I was not concerned about the bigger picture. I I mean we have a schedule. We even play the World Cup, so I can understand that it's not easy to to postpone games. But for isolated situations like ours in, in, the last, in the last match, we had our concerns and we thought we had a strong case. So I, I, I shared my thoughts with everybody. And uh, we accept the, the situation. We accepted the challenge when we arrived at, at Wolverhampton with 14 players. And out of these 14 players, uh, with, with a lot of them, we took a huge risk. And uh, in, in general, we did not feel fully safe, nobody who was uh, involved in the trip. But um, apart from that, we accepted the challenge and we will accept the next challenges. Um, is, uh, it will not get easier because, OK, these, these guys are out, but that's, that's more or less it. Just for clarity, were you in favour of just postponing a round of fixtures then? I, I don't even know if it would help, uh, and I, I was I, I don't I, I don't want to want to give anybody the impression that I have a solution. I, I don't have a solution. I don't have a solution for the league and and in general, it was like my 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 thoughts and my speech was was particularly for the last two days around the um, around the and and around the Wolverhampton game and coming to the Wolverhampton game. That was my concern. It's of course the same concern because, like I said, the, 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 the guys are still out and uh, they are not too bad. And uh, from there we go on. Uh, just finally for me then, three games we've seen eight days. Um, how challenging is this period for you as a manager? You've probably never really faced anything quite like it, have you, in your career? Not on Christmas and not between Christmas and New Year, but this is uh, actually quite exciting. Um, um, I watched it when I was not involved. I watched it during during Christmas and, and uh, New Year, uh, the Premier League. So now I'm in the middle of it. Actually, I like it. And it's, it's nothing new to play three matches in a week, to play three matches in a week without nine or ten players. That is that is challenging the situation itself. We would we would love to be involved in all these competitions, and love to have the challenge uh, with everybody. This is not the case, and so we struggle a little bit and, and need to find solution. That's why we're here. Um, we wanted to give an insight into our thoughts, and and uh, when we arrived for the Wolverhampton game, we did this, but we made very clear also before the match that we will like. Uh, that we will fight for the best result and we will not we will not make any excuses it was just a situation and this will maybe uh, be the situation for for many weeks because uh, it will not stop when when the players when the players come out maybe it will happen to other players to other clubs so to continue will maybe not change the situation James. Thomas, could you give us some indication on what type of side you're looking to pick tomorrow? Because 
we understand a number of under-23 players and academy players have been training with the first team this week. This week sounds like uh, it's a whole week that we can prepare. Let's say they train with us yesterday and today. That's that's um, <laughs> that's may gives a better that gives a better explanation about the situation. Yeah, we we made them come for two training sessions because it's necessary. Uh, when we made them come, Louis, we detected that Louis Baker is positive for for COVID. So another player out. So we take also the risk to to be to 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 bring players in from the academy who have it and, and you take another risk. But um, I mean, um, how, how shall I put it? Maybe in, it's the best to put it in an example. What we did with Angolo Kante, 90 minutes, was close to be irresponsible uh, to let him play for 90 minutes against Wolverhampton. Will he be involved in the squad now against uh, Brentford? No, simply no. It, would it be possible if it was like the last game of the season? Yes, but it's not, we, we, cannot, we cannot do this and uh, I will not do it. Um, we will now uh, give him time to recover and prepare him for, for the Aston Villa match. And, and this is the situation, you know, to have a team with 13 or 14 players for one match, this is a problem, but it's not the big problem. We can do it and we can fight. But from the match, we have Trevor Chaloba injured. We have him in big doubts. We have uh, N'Golo Kante uh, and Mateo Kovacic involved, which made absolutely, which was taking huge, huge risk, and now we're paying for this. So they cannot just simply start with uh, three matches or five matches in two weeks or with three matches in one week. It's simply impossible. So the problem will increase and the situation will increase and we cannot let players suffer because other players are not there. It's simply impossible. We have to protect our our yeah to protect our players and protect the health and 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 that's why we we brought in the the academy is is no secret and we think about like uh, playing with them is there a frustration that you have reached the quarterfinals of a competition and you simply cannot prioritize that now you need to look at managing your squad for the games coming up over the next two weeks Yes, because you're always, we are so competitive, that's why we work here and we are, we are competitive, that's why the, they are so competitive, the players, that's why they, they, they signed for Chelsea, that's, that's what made them Chelsea players, so we are fighting for every competition and we never, we, I, I absolutely don't like judging the, the importance of games because you can never tell what it does to you. Um, and, and uh, there is nothing more important than winning and nothing more important than uh, performing together and good performances and, and fighting the fights together. Um, this is totally against our nature, but maybe we are forced to, the, to do it. And um, this makes me sad because this is not what sport is about and this is not what we are all about. But it can happen uh, tomorrow that we, that we prioritize the health, not the game against Aston Villa, but the health and the, that we prioritize the health and do not take any risk um, for, for some of our players. And just finally from me, Thomas, is there disappointment that the Premier League clubs have decided to continue with the season ahead of the meeting with the managers and the captains, which has been moved back? No, I would not say a disappointment because it would be, uh, I think it would be too easy. Uh, I don't have a solution for the whole league. I don't have a solution for, for the schedule with UEFA, with FIFA, with World Cup, with whatever is coming, with Nations League after the season. I don't know, maybe it would have just delayed the problem. And uh, I think nobody could be sure that if we delay it now or if we make a pause now for 10 days that we don't have the same problem in, in three weeks again. I think there are some clubs who like who suffer a lot. We suffer uh, very much in the moment. Uh, that's why it would have maybe been better for us to 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 have a, a short break and to bring a squad together. Maybe then we would have played against another team who who suffers in in, in the very next moment. So I don't have a solution. That's why I'm, and then that's why I I do also not have a clear opinion what's what's best to do for everybody because we are not alone in Premier League. And this is what we are very aware of. But like I said before, we are like just disappointed that we don't have the players to fulfill our goals and, and, and to, uh, to play on the, on, the, on the highest level competitive football.
Nick Fuel. Hi Thomas. Hi. Um, in a way, are you being, um, are you the victims of the strength of your squad? Because if you hadn't had such a strong squad, I know obviously, like you're saying, there are a number of players there you had to play um, that you took a risk on at the weekend. But if, if your squad wasn't uh, as strong and as, as if you didn't have the depth that you did, that match might not have taken place in the, in the first Do you think I would be very surprised if, if uh, Premier League takes a judgment uh, uh, on, on the quality of players that are available. Uh, that would surprise me a lot because uh, that is simply not their job. We have a squad. Our squad is a very strong squad, but it's not the biggest squad. And uh, when we miss nine players, we have a problem. It's as easy as that. And you, you saw it. We had uh, 14 players with us. Um, that tells the story. Okay, last question in the broadcast section. And, and full credit, full credit. Uh, uh, Full, full credit to all of the guys who were involved and I'm, I'm absolutely happy and how we played and how we grew into the match. Uh, like giving the circumstances, I did not expect us the very best, uh, the very best first half in, in the world. So we did not, obviously we had our problems, but the way we grew into it and we, we reacted, I can just say that I'm, I'm absolutely happy and it shows me that, that uh, our players have the, the heart and the, uh, at the right place and, and the attitude right and this is that it, what is what, what's it all about but like I said you can handle these situations f for once but it, 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 the problem is still there the, they're out for 10 days so in these 10 days we have three matches so it will catch us at some point it will catch us and it will backfire on us it's 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 a given even if we try hard not to accept and we will keep on try hard not to accept it and 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 fighting if we will fight against all odds and we'll see what we will do tomorrow hi thomas um, thanks for your time um how much of a chance is there that this sort of press conference is a waste of time and this match doesn't go ahead because you called it a lottery you call it a lottery every day you know when you wake up and yeah it is and you see the COVID tests, um, how much is there a chance it's a waste of time or or will you just do this match with academy players if you have to? <laughs> good question uh good question um you know, when I called it a lottery, it's like this. I mean, we do right now every day, we do flow tests, we do PCR tests, and, and every day it, it can happen that the, the door, and, and then you're only allowed to be in the building. So this is the first lottery, you go to work, but you don't know if you can actually make it to your office, which is good because then it's safe, at least for this day, and the next day you get tested again. But if you test so much, you always have the risk that you find a positive and another positive yeah, can really uh, make things um, worse than they already are. Like we, we planned now a, a squad and, and had some plans with Louis Baker from the academy and now he's positive so we can, we can uh, start from scratch. And, and this is what we do right now. The players will arrive in the next hour because we delayed the training to the late afternoon. And then I can tell you more. Uh, right now we prepare for the match to be played, but um, yeah. Uh, even to plan training is 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 uh, it's pretty exciting because until the last the very last hour you don't know how many players arrive.